What's up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. Please follow my Instagram at Russo Lifts just in case something happens to this YouTube channel. You can follow, message, and you can watch my daily story content on Instagram. I'll see you there. Prep vlog one. What's up guys, it's early and I can't talk. It's Russo, I hope everyone is doing well. So this is the first official prep vlog. Gonna be training upper back, going through Alex diet as well. Right now we're gonna be pulling blood work. So I have my blood work sheet. So this video is sponsored by Persona Labs. So if you go in the description and click on full source list as well as the pinned comment, this is my blood work plug. Absolutely no, you know, doctor interaction required. If you wanna get your blood tested, I believe in medical freedom. You can just pick what test you want. Got my note here. I'm gonna just drive down to Quest and they're gonna scan it and they're gonna do my blood. There's multiple tests on there. And if you guys follow me on Instagram after this video, I'm going to be doing a free blood test giveaway. So I'm getting, and, yeah, it's early, got bear with me here on the talking. Yeah, I am gonna give away a free blood test. It's going to be a male or female hormone panel. Also, if you guys wanna see what's going on on the inside, like a little snapshot, be sure to follow me on Instagram and look out for that post. I'll drop the post once Andrew's done with this video. But what I'm getting tested is my CBC, metabolic panel, hemoglobin, my prostate, T4, test free in total, thyroid stimulating hormone, CRP, estrogen, DHEA, IGF, T3, SHBG, full lipid panel, see where the prolactin's at on the MPP, and DHT. As far as the cycle goes, I just started EQ like three days ago, but the MPP as well as I dropped my test to 250. It's Sustanon. If everyone wonders the specifics, the MPP is around 600 now. I'm trying to keep it scaled higher and then we'll be going through the diet when we get back. But this blood work is just to get the basic data points, which we will pull later in the cycle to see that anything is going crazy out of whack as well as just check on my overall health before I start this long prep because this is a very long steroid cycle. So it's good to know that there's nothing glaring right off the bat. So let's go get the bloods done. I'm hungry already. Woof, woof. So let's see how these people react to the fucking camera. I mean, the plastic surgeon's office, like the doctor was chill. Everyone else wasn't chill. Well, guys, I forgot my face diaper, so now I have to run my seven liter stroker and burn like four more gallons of gas. Alas, me and Andrew forgot our face diapers. We can't go in until we get face diapers. I'm gonna get like my eighth booster too. You know, Andrew's on his sixth. I am totally beating him in the booster shots. If you're not first, you're late. with my MPP high blood pressure. Obviously, I'm modeling after a star citizen who drives with it on because you don't want to get COVID in the car. So when you're driving, I prefer to have both on, really set the bar high at Russo's channel, you know. For how many times I got banned, you know, I'm just trying to do the right thing here now, you know. I almost passed out really fun breathing in carbon dioxide but I've arrived Andrew had to wake me up from passing out a couple times but we are here to get the bloods done guys make sure when you do your blood work you're fasted right it's gonna throw off all the numbers if you're not fasted I have so many people on my Instagram who send me blood work and I'm like are you fasted and they're like no that could impact your test levels. That could impact, obviously, your blood glucose, right? That's very important to see what's going on with that. If you're not fasted, just wait till the next day. Just reschedule it the next day. You want the most accurate pull of your bloods, right? All right, blood work is done. We'll see how fucked up I am in two to four days. Okay, buddy. All right, they're pulled. Oh, yeah, perfect. As far as the, the you know, the podcast goes, um, how do you want to go about it? Do you want to shoot for, what time is it there? Now it's 4 p.m. and it's getting dark as fuck. The only problem is that, well, two problems. First, I bought the MIG. Um, the it doesn't, this, this is an older generation. It doesn't have a software. It has like a manual 
you can put manually which microphones you want to use. That that would be a trial and error. And also, they they didn't have the um, pop, uh, filter. pop longer. Did you just yeah. order a pop filter off of Amazon, or is that too much to get it? Shit. No, it's not too much. Um, but I would assume that there there would be a wait. Yeah, we can we can do it without the pop filter, but I definitely would get one like moving forward. If you would like blow into the mic, it would block that. So you would might, I, you just have to place the mic farther away from you, and we'll have to turn the gain up. But it's just much what easier if I, with a pop filter. What if I put a sock or something above it? That should fuck that. Up. That would work. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Well, that's one one trick. Now one more thing. But also, I don't have a camera though for the PC. So yeah, then I don't have to buy a camera as well. Then, but I can I can buy a camera in a day if it doesn't have to be like something fancy. Then I get it. Yeah, right it don't one. gotta be fancy. It just gotta be some sort of webcam. Well, I'll, I'll do that. Uh, I'll figure it out. So you know, we'll either do it today or tomorrow. We can do it today. It would just be right after I train. How's um? Um, how was the, are you tracking your weight every morning? Dude, I'm stuck at like 239. Oh no, that's fine, but are you, tr are you writing it down yes. with decimals? So, everything together. I'm writing down the blood pressure and the weight. Okay, uh, send me a picture of the weight fluctuations, like day, day by day, you know, like let's say 241. 241.3, you know how yeah, it goes. Yeah, I'll, I'll put a Google spreadsheet and I'll share it with you and then you can just see me live and put it every day. So even if we're not okay. talking, that data will be available to you at all times. Right, yeah, yeah, because it's normal. I mean, it's normal to be stuck at some weight because we're just going to look at averages and if it's not moving, then you'll have to be in a bigger deficit. Um, but so far, this is the... Uh, you, I, you have no cardio right now, right? I am doing cardio. Uh, how, let me check. How, how many minutes? 30 minutes of stairs. Yeah, I told you that. No, I've just been doing that. Should I stop? We didn't even touch on the training yet. Yeah. Oh yeah, because you because uh, when we talk to you, um, I don't know whether you want a routine from me or whether you want to stick to what you're doing. But cardio wise, I'd have to manage that. No, you just manage it all. I want to be hands off. This is you. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Then I'll do that. And if you're doing so, you're doing the diet and thirty minutes of cardio. Yes. Okay. That's important. So that's the baseline. You know. Mm -hmm. Okay. That's. That's, uh, well, we'll be in touch. Yeah, just write whatever training you want and I'll follow it to a T and vlog that and then I'll do your cardio tree as well. That way you have control of all the variables and you're not like thinking like, what, what kind of deficit am I creating with the cardio or is the cardio scalable or anything? You can just tell me everything. Okay, perfect. Makes sense. Okay. Should okay. I hit you back we'll later today? Yeah, hit me back. All right. Say what's up to YouTube. What's up, guys? Hope you're doing well. <laughs> Russo is definitely doing well. <laughs> All right, dude. Not for now, though. For All right, now, then. yeah. But peace, peace. All right, that was Master Alec. So he's gonna be doing everything. I really don't like. For me, this is a lot of pressure on me, but also holding up the name of Alex. Although I obviously know how to train and build muscle and change my physique. I've never been shredded before. I've only done recompositions. I don't want him like guessing what type of training I'm doing or guessing what type of cardio I'm doing. It was just like, I'm slowly switching onto this prep diet and just slowly just rebuilding my physique at this weight. But you'll see moving forward on these vlogs that it will be very regimented and i will not stray away from alex's plan because like him as the coach i don't want to put no like random pressure on him that i'm doing something weird and when i reverse out of this show i'll probably take over my training again but during this prep it's all alec i'm just following the plan i'm the athlete he's the coach you'll see my training switch moving forward but today we're gonna do back and i'm gonna do it my style yeah let's go get meal one in all right guys so meal number one and i ordered a food scale like i have never like weighed my food or anything to get to this size or do the recompositions i've done it's like literally the first time i'm tracking everything just being completely honest like i could get down to 220 pounds lean without tracking at all 
but since this is a prep where I'm actually gonna get shredded, obviously you wanna weigh it out. So I am getting a food scale. I only have my drug scale to check when I, you know, we get shorted or not. So we'll get on moving forward, but this is vlog one. We're gonna do 140 G's blueberries as I burn myself. I don't know if Andrew got <laughs> I fucking put the stove on fire as I can't figure out how to open blueberries either. I'm very slow today. It's going to be like a cringe episode. 140.7, 39.2, Close enough. So 140 grams. My stupid blood work thing is already coming off. Don't do that. Always keep it on. One grapefruit and then I'm doing a scoop away and then I'll probably combine it with meal too since I was already supposed to have this down but since I did the blood work fasted, I'm kind of behind here. So I'm just gonna scarf down my oats, my bacon and egg whites, and 30 grams of almonds. So this is meal one and two. I'm gonna combine them, but normally wake right up, eat meal one. 140 grams of blueberries, one grapefruit. Andrew's never heard the grapefruit meme noise. Oh, here it is. Now that Andrew didn't know the grapefruit meme, he knows it now. So that is meal one and two. And then I'll head to the gym. Meal three, I will refeed with my 100 grams of rice, my 300 grams of bison, and then mushrooms and cucumbers for, you know, make my stomach feel fuller. So I'm gonna eat this shit and then we're gonna get to the gym. I almost put all the meals down. This little hippopotamus needs to go out. All right, so back day today. Like I said, my glaring weak points, my chest, is absolute dog shit, right? Those muscle insertions, this, this will be the last thing that I build is my chest. As far as back, my back's pretty wide. I definitely need more lower lat thickness. So that's what I'm gonna be focusing today is lower lat thickness, as well as I'll train it for width a little bit, but I'm going to be training more like a bodybuilder these days. So I'm not gonna be training for strength. Obviously I'm going to be using heavier weights, but you know, the powerlifting training that you guys have seen over the years, I had to switch gears and train like a bodybuilder, right? I built up that strength base so I could eventually train like a bodybuilder with heavier weights. That's the goal, right? There's a lot of pressure on me for this prep from all my sponsors and to hold up Alex's reputation on top of my own. So I'm just trying to do everything the best I possibly can for the best possible outcome for you guys. So sincerely appreciate you guys following along. All right, put down meal one and two. So 140 grams of blueberries, one grapefruit. I didn't drink the whey protein shake. Gonna drink the whey protein shake. 100 G's of oats, then my egg whites, my bacon, and my almonds. So everything besides the shake, I'm gonna do the shake real quick. Gorilla Mind coupon code Russo, but I'm gonna be going through the pre-workout stack. So I'm gonna drink my shake and the pre-workout. So this is how I do my pre-workout moving forward. Now I already discussed that this is a giant steroid cycle. This is more steroids than I've ever done. And I wanna keep blood pressure in check. So I am no longer doing any sort of stimulant pre-workouts. I'm no longer doing any coffee and I'm trying to limit my weed down. Me going cold turkey off of weed isn't the greatest idea right now but I am trying to smoke less, kind of keep it more towards the weekends. Or like, for me, I use the weed because my brain goes so fast. I like to slow it down and feel stupid every once in a while, so that's why I do it. But, like I said, weed increases your BP. Just trying to keep the BP super low. So, what I'm gonna do for the stack is non-stim pump formula, and I am gonna do two scoops of glycerol powder. So this is gonna help hopefully more water sit in the muscles since I am in a pretty freaking harsh deficit right now. And then I'm doing two scoops of stim-free nitric, which is the best pump formula on the market at this two scoop dosage. Please link me a pump formula 
that's better via the actual label dosages down below if you want to argue and i'm sure derek will nitpick whatever you link and then my secret is i do one shroom pill so this helps my music sound better gives me a better mind muscle connection i only do one single pill and i break up the pill and dump it in this is what i'm doing for the enhanced mind muscle connection versus doing a hit of sativa before i lift and especially on back day you want to be focused on actually contracting your back so that's the pre-workout i'm gonna make that protein shake as well because i forgot but i will see you guys at the gas station because the refrigerator is out of gas i'm here often and i gotta use the funnel at this show remember guys if you have a sports car and you're not putting bp or v power shell do you really like your sports car like if you have a high performance engine it lasts longer if you put bp in everyone comment what your gas price is down below this is what i'm paying for v power none of that shitty cheap gas how much are you guys paying for good gas guys starting off with rear delts highly recommend everyone get a pair of these attachments so these are made by lift tech people keep asking me where i got these i was sponsored in the enhanced documentary by lift tech so the reason why it's so good for rear delts is you can pull these out you can isolate the rear delt perfectly by fondling the balls what's up guys so welcome to the first prep episode as far as how I'm feeling, right, this was a giant, you know, 180 as far as being the bloat lord and I'm finally officially dropping the bloat and trust me when I say I'm sticking to this diet because I'm upholding Alex's reputation on top of my own reputation, but I'll say that right off the bat, it's a lot different training in a deficit as well as me waking my muscles back up, right? I've been really trying to rebuild my physique around 230. I just kind of did a shit ton of cardio to get to, you know, 260 to 230. And here I am trying to rebuild the physique. As far as the cycle goes, right? It's around 400 to 600 MPP a week, depending on how I like my blood pressure. And in this video, I just added an EQ a day or two ago. So it's not really impacting. And then I'm microdosing dosing on daily for a total sustenance total of around 250 a week. As far as how I'm feeling, you know, I'm not really feeling the side effects of dieting other than being extremely, extremely flat. Looking at this video footage, I honestly think I look, you know, even flatter in real life than this video footage makes it out to be, but that's what it's like when you're in a harsh caloric deficit, right? I'll look flat, I'll look flat, I'll look flat for weeks and then all of a sudden one day I'll wake up and I'll be, you know, very shredded and diced. So if you guys haven't watched the coach video where I introduce Alec and his game plan, basically we're shooting for a local NPC classic physique show. I currently weigh around 234 to 235 pounds in the morning and the aim stage weight for this show, which will probably be around July will be at 193 pounds on stage. So I won't really judge this physique until I get to around 220 and start going below that. Cause I'm still in this weird phase where I haven't been on that much gear at all for the past couple months going through my mental health fiasco. And now I'm waking my physique up. So it's gonna take some time for me to refill out at this weight, but this is the most gear I've ever been on. There's no SARMs. This is a completely traditional contest prep cycle. And as far as fat burners go, we will be using ephedrine. But here is the before physique update at around 235 pounds. And as you can see, my gyno is completely gone since the surgery. So I am super excited to shred down for you guys and finally retire the bloat lord completely so let me know what you guys want to see specifically from this prep vlog moving forward sit look 
how well behaved he is for the end of the vlog. So this is going to wrap up vlog one. I'm going to have my post-workout meal of bison and rice with some no sugar added ketchup. Major key. But yeah, tell me what you guys want to see. You know, this is me and Andrew's first like run through the vlog. Kind of wanted to make it entertaining, but you know, this is my realistic hustler grind day to day. The rest of the day is going to be answering you guys on Instagram, doing a couple phone calls, getting on Alec because I'm going to do a podcast with Alec, and just grinding. You know, that's my day to day. It's just constant, you know, communication, hustling like that and coming up with new ideas as you can see my topic board is all checked off so i'm gonna be coming up with some new topics so yeah really appreciate all the support on the comeback you know i'm feeling a lot better this year and 2022 russo to the moon right ghosto is dad going to the moon but yeah guys if you have any input on what you want me to do better with this prep series let me know what you want me to see me and andrew will do a grocery haul but i just have to have this ship prep because i'm so busy i'm not just being a bodybuilder here right i have a lot of other shit going on so everything needs to be like super just right there ready to go if you guys want me to do a grocery haul i can do it but the diet is very very simple I'll have one other meal today, which will be a chicken and rice meal before I eat. And then obviously sugar-free Zevia, sugar-free vitamin water, bubblies, and you know, cucumber mushroom salad if I get super hungry and need something to hold myself over. Honestly, you know, training wise, I felt so flat, which is to be expected. I will give you guys a tip on the next vlog on how to stay fuller when you're dieting. I forgot to buy it and I bought it at the grocery store when we came home, but yeah, I'm super excited. I really wanna pop off this year. That's the goal and I'm doing everything in my power to just do the best I can and moving forward, you know, I'm gonna be on the attack. That's it, I'll see you guys in my next one.